Being honored by the AWA is just, it's, it's tremendous. I mean, I have seen many friends, um, mentors, and people I've admired over the years being inducted into the AWA, and um, I can hardly believe I'm among this group. A successful life is, I think, being happy, um, being true to yourself, um, loving what you do, loving those around you. It's being able to mentor people, mentor especially young women. Um, I've taken great pride and great interest in doing that. I think it's so very important. I've had a lot of people who have influenced me. When I started at my career at the Nashville Banner as a young reporter, Tam Gordon, who was a veteran reporter there, taught me so much about how to be a reporter, how to be a journalist, um, but also just a lot about, about life as well. Personally, I would have to say um, my mother was very influential. She didn't have a high profile career, but she was a high impact woman and uh, who touched lives every day with her strength and her character and her faith, and I miss her. I'd like to say if all goes well, this, meaning Vanderbilt, will be my last stop. And so I think what drives me maybe being in the later parts, later years of, of my career, um, I still want to be good. I want to be the best I can. I want to excel. I work for one of the best universities in the country, if not the world, and that's a great privilege. The advice I would offer to young women today would be to be true to yourselves. Just find what, what your passion is and just and throw yourself into that. It could be running a nonprofit of your choice that really you're committed to and that makes a difference, like the YW, for example. If I could change anything or go back and do anything differently, um, I, I'm sure there are some tweaks I would make along the way, but in the whole big picture, um, I'm pretty pleased with what I've been able to, to do. I've been very blessed, and, and I think that's really the term, I've been blessed. <laughs>